This is the Labyrinth. It is a text-based dungeon crawler um, where it's it's we're we're, we're traveling back. Uh, we're going back to the eighties. Oh hey, the dev of the Labyrinth is here. Oh nice. What timing? Hey, resent resent it. How's it going? That's fantastic timing. So anyway, uh, this is a um, text-based dungeon crawler. We're going to pick out a class, and we're going to venture through the, the dungeons. Old timey. So let's try it out by Alexandra Spillman there in chat. And let's see what we can do here. So it's going to be like any year old, any year old text-based, uh, you know, old timey adventure games, basically. Even the little wops. Excellent. I think we're all set here. Um, yeah, we should be all right. Okay, let's try it. Um, uh, no, that one. Heroes gathered from all around the world to show what they're capable of. You only have supplies for four party members. Choose your class and optionally re oh, reallocate up to 10 stat points. All right, so um, party number number one. We do think four party members. Number one, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy is my always my tank. Uh, Jimmy's going to be a warrior. And he's going to be a... I mean, if you have a choice, Berserker, Templar, Dragon Slayer, or Knight, you're going to be a Dragon Slayer. So, Jimmy the Dragon Slayer. We can change these as we want. I think they're fine. 27 con, right? We can change it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I like it. Okay, next next up, we have um, Untinti. Untinti the Mage. And Untinti is a uh, Arcane Mages possess abilities to augment their spell forces, utterly destroy their opponents. Uh, white mages can't deal much damage, but they make up for it with strong healing and support. Blood mage. Use their health to further empower their damage output. Or a shaman. Extremely powerful healers. Able to revive dead allies. They're relatively weak. Oh, they're relatively weak when their knowledge is scarce. Um, we probably should have some sort of healer. Um, but no. Ontinti is going to utterly destroy his opponents. That's, what, that's the kind of person Ontinti is. Okay, next up, we've got um, Bob Ross. Bob Ross is going to be my... He's going to be a mage as well, I think. Bob Ross is going to save some lives. With his uh, with his white mage abilities. Okay, and then last character is going to be... Um, I recommend not playing the shaman. Difficult early. That's, that's why when I played the test game, my test game, I played a shaman. Uh, he didn't do so good. Um, like a bug. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I would say, well, let's be me. I'll, I'll be in there. Uh, give me a bow. I will herbalist, sharpshooter, hunter, or a brewer. I like to get the drink on. Find powerful brews. Knowledge of nature, possessing strong abilities that can hinder the enemies and heal their allies. Never miss their target. Shrugging off accuracy, reducing effects while buffing their team. Never miss it. That, that sounds like me. That's, that's the kind of guy I am. All right. Two seed. Uh, um, 15, uh, 10.52. Let's do a short run. A normal difficulty. Short run. Stand at the entrance of the dungeon. This dark, unknown place has terrorized and haunted the people of your land for far too long. Very few have dared to enter, and thus far, not a single one has... Thus far, not a single one has returned. Its mystery led to rumors and legends. Some who peered into the shadows claimed to have felt a shifting darkness within them, eating at their very souls, warning them of the dungeon's contents. But others claimed to see glistening lights, floods of hope washing through them, as if a benevolent force bestowed their spirit with courage. And now there's you, one of the many brave souls who thinks they have what it takes to defer defeat the curse. Be it for the glory, riches, or power, you destiny awaits uh, remains the same. Your party... Armed with some equipment uh, the local settlers could provide, give a slight pause before entering. Now is the last chance to ensure everything is to your desire. Let's do it. Alright, your journey begins here. As you enter this room, you feel a slight weight on your shoulders, unlike you've ever felt before. Something about this dungeon has, attract, has attached to you. Something about this dungeon has attached to you. You hear a low rumble behind you and notice the entrance has sealed off. The way now is only forward. Okay, so we have inventory over here. Everyone has their stash, uh, which we can change things out as we go fighting through. Uh, we have stats, which we've saw before. We can level up, of course. And 
Um, we've got spells, which we can learn. I think do I, have, I do have some points right now, so let's do this real quick. So Jimmy the Dragon Slayer, he wants Bloody Death. If you're killed the next three turns, you instantly kill the source. I mean, that sounds like a thing that that sounds like a thing Jimmy would like to have. Two times per combat on kill, all cooldowns are refreshed. We also have just dying breath. Plus zero percent revive healing taken. Offensive stance. Plus two bonus damage on kill. Deal seventy five percent attack damage, increasing slays damage, or sacrifice. Cost him some health. Deals more damage. I think. I think um, bloody death sounds like a thing that Jimmy would have, but it seems like it's going to be not useful. Like, we're well, doing it. We're doing it. Um, can I put more like that? How do I do that one? Can I not? I have three points. Three points to unlock. Yeah. Ah. Okay. All right. Untinti. Untinti is my uh, is my damager. So we can melt folks, drains each enemy of, of mana. Um, well, silence, divine blast does a lot of mana, but it's. Equal to the damage to their maximum health. Steals the target's mana. Double click, got it. Um, damage spells have a 15% chance to stun the main target for one turn. I like that. I'll take that one. Bob Ross. Bob's our healer. So, he's the party member for 25% missing health. Only be cast once per turn. Buffs an ally. Remember, takes damage. They heal by 60%. Um, I'll just take the heal. And then me. Extra attack damage. If at least two enemies are alive, expose the target by 50%. 25% attack damage on two enemies. Yeah, that seems like a thing I want. Yeah, blind fire. Okay. So we can choose. We go to question mark, question mark, question mark, skull. Uh, let's go to question mark. Next room is small, dark, and seemingly contains no threat. Cold chills run down your party's spines, making you uneasy. It's probably best to quickly move on. Okay, let's go to question mark, skull, skull. Let's go to question. Uh, let's go to a skull. Next room is cold and dark. Three enemies creep out of the shadows, blocking your path. Your party braces themselves for the large fight. Combat. Hey. Combat time. <clears throat> no, forceful spells isn't useful as your first pick. You don't have any spells unlocked that can utilize them. It's a... Oh, okay. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Thanks, Redbeard. It's an Amazon special. Oh, that's a little loud. Let me turn it up. Okay, so who's up first? Um, me. So I'm going to shoot. We got a big main thrall guy. We got a couple sentries here. Let's just work on these sentries. Which we'll just take them out. I will. Um, I will blind fire both of these two. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, next up is Ontinti, who will do their. F Can I do this one? Jamie spells game. Yeah, yeah. Let's just blast. I forget. I, forget. I did this before. I forget how to do this. Oh, just attack, right? Just attack that guy. Twenty damage. Bob. Bob's a healer. Bob, you could heal. No, Bob, just do some damage, buddy. There you go. And then Jimmy's up. So Jimmy, let's work on this one guy. I think he's getting beat down. But luckily, we got Bob with us. So I'm going to. Finish off you. Hey, Brock. How's it going? Okay, on TNT. So you're just a passive thing. So you're you're. Is, are you trying to? Say, what are you trying to say? I missed this. Okay, I think it passed already. Um. Okay. If you want, you can increase the time delay between turn actions. If you want more time to parse what actually happened. Uh. So. Are you saying I can't do this thing because I need a forceful spell, like something like this? Or a melter one? Or is that just a passive thing? 
Take that. Uh, Bob, I need a heal. You need a heal and Tinty. There you go, buddy. 21. That was terrible. And then you can take him out. Oh. That was terrible. Okay. Uh, I will sharpshoot that guy. And we're going to finish this guy off, I think. Force spells grant a bonus to your damaging active spells. Ha! Ah, got it. Got it. I understand. Uh, should I heal again? I mean, he's still got 91 hit points. He's fine. I suppose we should probably... Let's just whittle this guy down. Since he is um, a lot easier to kill than that guy. He's almost out of mana also, so... There we go. Anybody have anything really cool they want to do? Okay. Um, yeah, do your heal. There you go. Oh, better. Now attack. And Bob Ross with a kill. Kind of guy Bob Ross is. Okay, let's take out this thrall. Um, that's too. We don't need that one because it's two enemies. And yours is. All yeah, right, but not your. What was uh, Jimmy's? Jimmy's was that death thing, right? Hopefully we don't use that one. Big fight for our first fight here. Okay, a couple more hits. 18, do more damage than that. Right. We win. Okay, enemies like cold on the cold stone floor, slowly dissolving into nothing remains. Take what you need. They won't need them anymore, leaving it with uh, 18 gold. Unclaimed items gives you that. Okay, what do I need? Well, this seems pretty good. Uh, no. My... Wait, my, my tin one is better than the steel one? That doesn't seem right. I'll take it. Golden plate mail is good. I'm just going to take everything and then we can sell it uh, later on. Okay. Um, let's venture here. A bright blue light nearby blinds you as you step into the next room. A massive floating circle rests in the center. Emanating, the, emanating from the glow. Emanating the glow. Peering through you, notice you can see the rooms ahead. All of them, in fact circle appears tangible, and you figure you could pass through and skip the entire floor directly to the boss room. That seems dangerous. Let me see what we got anything good here. So you have the tin one. The steel the steel one is worse than the tin one. Okay. Um, the golden plate is better, though. There you go, buddy. Take that. Uh, the rest of these are not for you, not for you. So you have the maple one. These are both no good. That's the same. And that's the same. Just worth more. And that's an offhand thing, which you can't use. Because that's a two-handed weapon. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea. We'll certainly die if I do that. Next room is cold and dark. Three enemies creep out of the shadows, blocking your path. Let's fight. Alright, uh, these guys are a little bit... Oh, there's a Thrall there again, but we got a Debilitator. Well, let's blind fire at uh, whoever. There we go. And... I think we're going to go mostly focus on... Oh, we, are so, we are so damaged, aren't we? We didn't get healed. Um, let's take down him. I'm going to go to get a heal. Let's make sure we keep ourselves up. 
Bob, your whole job is just keep people alive, okay? What I brought you for? Oh, Bob, that's a terrible attack. Smaller bow is considered one hand for sake of equipping that quiver. Okay, okay. Figure maybe it was a um, um, uh, I figured maybe it was like a crossbow thing. Why can't I attack him? Look. Attack. Attack. Reselect Nook to attack. Uh-huh. Attack targets. What am I doing wrong here? Attack. Okay. Click Nook. Attack. Attack target. Uh, skip. Rob's gonna die. Right, what's going on here? Choose attack target. Yeah, attack that guy. What happened to us? What happened? What did I miss? Pitch. Oh, because. Oh, pitch black. Battlefield's pitch black, so we can't see anything. Ugh. Okay. I well, think he can't do anything then. I think he's just gonna sit here. Oh, Bob's dead. Bob! Is it still dark? Yeah. Why can they see me? There we go. We're gonna die here. Oh, Jimmy. Nook's dead. No. Okay, anything. Jimmy got some hit points still, but Jimmy's the only one hanging in there. Okay. Uh, we'll worry about this guy next. I don't know how many items really I can use. So we're just going to have to uh, click. I can't hit anything. Pitch black. Why can they see and not me? That doesn't seem right. I'm going to get dark vision. Because you are a shadow walker. So I can't see you, right? Yeah. I don't have any anything showing that I can't see them. You leave uh, us alone. I need you hang in there, buddy. Oh, you gotta hit something, buddy. You're gonna die. Yep, he did. Okay, it's up to, up to old Jimmy here. If Jimmy dies, though, in the next three turns, we can plan for it. I don't know how this is gonna work. Uh, I did play Nimmy Rails last night. Uh, big dog. Yeah, I can't hit anything. I'm gonna do one more. I'll probably be dying. Um, let's see, crits. Let's just play it safe here. Okay, so now we're gonna do this thing. No, we all died. No, <laughs> okay. Well, at least we took him down with us. Your body's crumbled to the ground as the enemies slink back into the darkness. Seemingly endless amount of time passes before our wandering spirit happened to cross paths with your bodies. It connects to your soul, time itself bending as your life returns to you. The spirit tells you it brought you back before your fatal encounter, ensuring you your journey does not end here. Oh. We're still alive. Okay, okay. Um, okay. I don't want to fight this fight. Let's do it. We're going back in there. No more losing. 
Okay, we're taking out the little guys first. Seems like a reasonable strategy. Um, Dinty. Bob, I need you healing. Heal yourself. More than eight, buddy. There we go. I'm doing a little better here. What did you do? Did you do the whole um, shadow thing? Yes. I mean, that guy's the worst. Man. I can't beat these guys. Hey, Tom. All right, we do this. this guy's the worst. We gotta get rid of him. Okay, heal uh, that guy. For 12 measly damage. I'll blind fire as soon as I'm done with this guy. I want to focus all of our fire on... Well, no, no point in doing it then. Uh, heal... Heal Jimmy. A little beat down. Bah. You're the worst, Jimmy. Just blind fire and hit him. They'll kill both of them. What? Oh, no. Not how it's supposed to work. Okay, there we go. Burst heal... Whoever. Okay. Let's heal, uh, him. Some sort of thorns thing or something going on? Thesis supervision. That sounds exciting, Tom. <laughs> okay. It almost. You know what? I if, if it does hit the same target, I should use that thing all the time, because it's seventy-five percent damage, like twice, or is it seventy-five percent? Take a look at this next time it's his, next time it's Nook's turn. Because 50 mana, which I don't have. So it's between 5 let's say 15 and 20. Normal attack does uh yeah, okay, so I guess it's a little worse. No, but it does that twice. So it is better to use that. Jimmy. Let's go through the stats with the arrow buttons to view buffs, debuffs. Like this thing here. Ah okay. Jimmy's the worst. Okay. We need a heal. That's a that's a not a good sword. How's that one? That looks pretty fancy, but it's no good. Um anybody want this? How do I select who are looking at it? Bob. Nope, these are all garbage. Did we level up? I did. So one point gives me. Extra accuracy. Extra swiftness. These are all three points to unlock all these things. I'll take accuracy. Sure. These are all too much. Heal potency. That sounds like a thing I want. Okay. Um, I guess I need a spell. Maybe I should save his for like a divine blast. Okay. Hey, a healing room. This room is bright, warm, and fills your party with energy as you enter. The room is a nicely lit campfire in the center, and depressions in the stone floor perfect for sitting. You decide this would be a great time to rest and steal yourselves. Your party's health and mana have been restored. Hooray. Do I have more? Oh, it's just time. It's blinking because I got this one. Uh, oh, I got stats too, though. Three points. Um, Bob, just do what you... Just The game knows what to do. How do I allocate those things? 
could use more luck, I think. Okay, next, let's go to the question mark. Room is warm, clean, and empty, except for a thin pedestal in the middle. Perfectly sitting on top is a potion, yellow in color. Something strangely enticing about it. Attracting your party towards it, it wants you to drink it. Oh, it's, it's clearly it's urine. Yes, Jimmy drinks some urine. After drinking the potion, Jimmy felt an immediate change inside them. Jimmy's debuff resist chance was increased by 5%. That's good. That's some tasty urine. Next room is small, dark, and seemingly contains no threat. Cold chills run down your party's spines. Okay. So everybody's going to 150 people, but the targets are random. Yeah, so that's actually good to hit just the one guy with it. Uh -huh. That's that's money. I'll take money. Next room is a small but decorated large assortment of items. You feel a presence watching you as you enter. It seems happy you're here and tells you it's selling goods before you. I would like to sell you some things. Um, I can. I gotta remember how to do it. You can actually uh, sell, sell. There's a button for sell somewhere, right? Let's go in here. You can have all all this. I don't want it. Now, as for what's out here, um. Mm, that might be good for Umtinti. No. What's that? A power orb. That seems cool. One of those, please. How much gold do I have? Yeah. One of those. And um, let's get uh, Jimmy some armor. No. How about maybe maybe Bob? Better defense for Bob. Or oh, no, could have a better bow. Elm of the Anti-Mage. Ooh. Eight gold. I'll take it. Those are expensive. Call Intelligence, Mana Restore. Oh, I got 99 bucks. Okay. Uh, that's good. Let's go ahead and put that on to... Yeah. Put that on, and then sell this. And then, um... Oh, Tinty's getting at the fancy thing. Oh, and you're off... Oh, offhand. I should buy another one of those for Bob. Bob wants one of these. Sure. What's that? Mana reduction cost. That sounds better for Bob. Okay, Bob, you got yourself a fancy book, buddy. Okay. This room is small, dark, and seemingly contains no threat. And we got another healing room. All right. Now it's time to fight the boss. This room is un, uh, the undeniable stench of necromancy. A hooded figure lurks in the back while a rattling of bones shuffles towards you. Skeletons and their master now stand before you. Okay. Bob Ross, always OP. That's right. It's a spooky necromancer along with a bunch of really, really tough knights. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we're going to focus this necromancer down, I think. Before we deal with the knights. I think. I will blind fire him. Take that. Eight damage twice. That was worthless. Uh, um, yeah, just hit this guy. Um, let's do a heal. Let's keep on the heals. And then attack. Since you can do it as a, a free action thing there. What's going on over here? We're hitting him for like zero damage. We're getting destroyed. Yeah. Uh, heal yourself. For a whopping 18. Going on there? What's he doing? Um, Bob Ross starts damage. Is he go right after? Is that what? Is just quick? And that hurts. Okay, Bob, Bob, 
Heal Bob. Give me a heal. Heal yourself, Bob. Okay. So attack, and he goes right after. Oh, you missed. Oh, what? Why? Why? What was it? What happened? Bob Ross goes, and then Jimmy goes. He doesn't go then. What's happening? Debuff. Debuff. Minus 56. Minus 56 damage per turn. That's way too much. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? Uh, who's up? Jimmy. Jimmy's gonna die. Oh, wait, wait. Jimmy's gonna die. Jimmy has bloody death. Okay, Jimmy. Now's your chance, buddy. To not die. About to die, but take not a boss with you. It doesn't work on bosses, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't just squander it. Uh, burst heal, I guess. Burst heal. Jimmy's gonna die anyway, so heal yourself. I think it was squandered because it was a boss. Oh, that's lame. And yeah, he's getting healed by his friends. So we probably should have stuck with the big guys, or the friends first. Too late now. Okay, and then attack. So does he have a... Um, can I see what his buff is? Damage reduction. Okay. Let's heal, um, Dinti, I guess. No, we're not. Yeah, he's going, he's gaining health. Well, we can't hit him anyway. So much for that. This is about how my uh, my boss fight went when I played the game before. Um, six hit points. Oh, Bob's dead. Oh, Tinty's dead. All right, Nook, we're all counting on you. You gotta do 174 points of damage. There you go, 15. That'll get him. <laughs> I got to, I got annihilated. Man, that was ugly. My body's crumpled to the ground. Um, no, that's about enough of that, I think. All right. Well, there we go. There is The Labyrinth. It's on Steam at the moment. Came out a couple weeks ago. Over here. Uh, oh, there's a demo, too, as well. Excellent.